There you are. I'm surprised you made it in on time. Normally, you'd be patted down looking the way that you do. I guess they let anyone in these days. What? Couldn't afford to do your laundry? I guess you really are in some tr- <laughs> It's good to see you too, yeah? It's been too long. I guess they didn't tell you that I'd be the one sitting here. <laughs> hey, hey, don't go. Come on, take a seat. Don't act like you're too good to be seen with me. After all, we're both up for the same promotion. Though, you have a point. You are not much competition for me. Ah, ah, ah. We spent four years together. I know you can put up with me for a few minutes. Besides, you already slapped me. So why not embrace some nostalgia? You know what I can do to you in two minutes. Imagine five. Wait. <sighs> One of us is going to make a partner, and whoever it is, I guarantee we'll be seeing more of each other. Either way, you better get used to seeing me around. So take a seat. It'll be fine. I'm willing to bet that you didn't spend a lot of time in good company, or any time in a glassy bar like this. Let me buy you a drink, yeah? <laughs> Very funny. I'll be sure to tell you when I see someone who counts as good company. It's nice to see you still have that mouth on you. It'll make this a lot more fun. I'm just saying, you keep this up, and all that attitude is going to land you in trouble. When I get that promotion, it'll be the first thing I work out of you. For now, I guess it's nothing to worry about. We're just exes after all. I have to say, I'm surprised at how well you did for yourself. When you left me, you were on track to be fired. Now look at you, right about to take my promotion. I'd hate you if you weren't so admirable. Tell me something, though. Was it worth it? Don't you lie to me. I know what you did, and so does everyone else. You're as ruthless as me, but only half as good. And as I hear it, you put yourself in quite the corner that you can't live without that promotion. So, tell me, what's gonna happen if I take more than just your promotion? <laughs> no, no, don't you start. I was still there for you when you dumped me. You were just as stubborn as you always were. So don't you hold it against me. You said no to my help, and ran away to do it on your own. And it's... <laughs> well, I said we weren't gonna talk about it, and we won't. You'll get what's coming to you, soon enough. Let's just leave it at that, yeah? You always know how to get to me. That's what I always liked about you. Don't take my patience for acceptance, though. You know where that gets you. We have more important things to talk about, don't we? Both of our lives are going to change today. So how's about I get you that drink? Don't be silly. Of course I remember your favorite. Four years we spent together, I'm bound to pick some things up. I know how much this means to you. You're just minutes away from all those years of hard work paying off. Indulge me a little. You'll find it a lot of fun. I'll just have water. You know I only drink when I win. 
I have something special for later, though. I bought this beautiful bottle of champagne. It's being delivered as we speak. I intend to celebrate right after you find out. If you are a good sport, I might even offer you a glass. We'll just have to see. Let's have a toast. Now about... To that corner of the office and the cold champagne on its way. Cheers. I remember you always talked about how much it meant to you. You went on and on about how beautiful and nice mahogany desk would look in there. All I could think of is what we'd get up to on that desk. If you saw how you looked in that outfit, you couldn't blame me. You know, if I get that promotion, I'll make sure to put in a desk just like it. If you play your cards right, you can see it sometime. But only if you put that outfit on again. I'm starting to like the thought of you as my underling. <laughs> I'd be a great boss. And if you kept quiet for a few seconds, we might actually get something done. And I'm sure you'd be my favorite employee. Besides, we work well together. Would it be so bad to look at me for instructions? Mm -mm -mm. You know how I can tell when you're lying. You couldn't leave if you wanted. So don't make those empty threats. When you accept me as your boss, that's when you'll know what's in store for you. You running off just because you lost? <laughs> Now that's just not like you. Besides, if I don't stop you, they will. Not only are you an open book, but you've always been a gambler. We wouldn't have dated otherwise. All those burdens piling up on your back. You sacrificed so much to chase this promotion. Don't play dumb. All of those late nights proving yourself didn't take long for your friends to forget you once you became a workaholic. And if that wasn't bad enough, without this promotion, yours good is gone. I bet you wish you'd taken my help. A part of me wants that too. Isn't it way more fun this way, though? Everything you have on the line. For this promotion. I always hated how stubborn you were. But I'm happy to see that it all led up to this. Oh, I don't like that look in your eyes. You're seriously still that confident that you'll get the promotion? <laughs> well, I promise to let you down easy for what it's worth. You wouldn't know what to do with that promotion, so it's best that I take it from you. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? As if I'd listen to you. Even if you were my boss, I'd never scrub the toilets. You couldn't make me do a thing if your life depended on it. Although, I'd love to see you try. Do you really... Think you can make me? Between us, you gotta know that if I really wanted to, I could get you on your knees. I know exactly what you're trying to do, and I want to see your face when I... <laughs> Excuse me, where are my manners? You make it so hard to behave. Makes me wonder if you're doing it on purpose. If that's what you want, I wouldn't worry. <sighs> You'll swallow your words soon enough. I just might write you up at this rate. Should I get the paperwork out now or later? I think we both know who belongs in that office. 
You're so confident. You almost make me believe that you already got the promotion. Come on, don't tell me you're not a little worried. Always so tough with a smirk on your face. We'll see how long that lasts. Ah. Not another word, doll. We'll wait for the boss in his office. I always lose track of time when we're together. Come on, you can't rile me up any more than you already have. <laughs> no, don't you start. I'm not exactly eager to see you try. We both know you can do whatever you put your mind to. Now let's get going. I'm getting a bit thirsty, and I don't want to keep my champagne waiting any longer. <laughs> now, hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to yet another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pants. Mystic37, Creek, Venowin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Paley, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all of your support. It truly does mean the world to me. If you're interested in getting more from me, be sure to check out my Twitter, which will be in my link tree, in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for all that you all do. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.